devious for the sub chat. Let me do my regular intro, but I'm feeling kind of like shit, so it's not going to be a good one. Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Thursday? <clears throat> I most definitely have contracted strep throat. <laughs> there is almost no doubt in my mind I'm early. Uh, the only reason I'm early is so I can make it to the urgent care when I'm done streaming. That's not a dub in the chat. What one of my mods just started putting dub? That's not a fucking dub that I have strep throat. Uh, strep throat, exclamation point, question mark. Yeah, my girlfriend had it. Or has it. Um... And I was hanging out with her for like two days and I, she just kind of felt like shit, right? It was like one of those things where it's like, oh, she just might be like a bit groggy. And then it was like Tuesday night, she was like shivering and she had like six blankets on her. And so I knew she was sick, but me being the wonderful boyfriend that I am said, you know, I'm willing to get a cold for my girlfriend, right? I'm still going to hang out with her. It's not a big deal, right? So we we still hang out, blah, blah, blah. It's tomorrow, which was yesterday. So it's Wednesday. Uh, and if you weren't on stream uh, on Wednesday, she was on stream for a little bit. Uh, she was at my house. Then she went to the urgent care, comes back, and she's like, I have strep throat. And I go, dead ass? <laughs> I go, dead ass? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, that means I have strep throat. Because, like, dude, if you don't know what strep throat is, it's a fucking... Am I wrong in saying it's a viral infection? It is, like, one of the most contagious fucking things you could get, right? And so I feel like... I, I slept 10 hours today, right? Why are you so early? I'm literally explaining that right now. Maybe if you listen to me, you would fucking know. I have strep throat. I have to make it to the urgent care before it closes, so I'm going live early, right? Scream as loud as you can? Yeah, definitely not doing that today. Use your fucking common sense, dumbass. <sighs> Anyways. <sighs> I slept 10 hours today. I wake up. Dude, it feels... I, my brain feels foggy as shit. Like, I, it's like, it's like I'm running on a fucking shitty GPU, right? It's like... I, my PC is a 4090. Like, say my brain's regularly a 4090. It's like I'm running on a fucking 1080, right? Like, that's what I feel like. Like, I'm still functioning, but I'm, I'm processing things slower. My process rate is, is, is poor, to say the least. It's not going well. Yoki for the five gift. It's thank you for the five gift. It's Biggie for the sub troller for the three. Are you positive you don't have a favorite color? Dude, I don't really have... I mean, like, I have favorite colors... Like green, blue, like dark green, blue, like a dark blue, black, red. Like I have favorite colors, but I mean, I don't, I can't pick one out of them. General for the sub ready for the five. How's the day so far? Pretty shitty seeing that I have to go to the fucking urgent care after this, but I'm still going to fucking stream. And you know what's crazy? Uh, yo, half of the other streamers on this app are going to take their shit off. Buddy, I don't give a fuck if I have strep throat. I'm going to keep streaming as long as I can fucking talk. The Dookie Salmon Hobart for the sub, Nate for the sub, well, man for the three. Today, I just noticed I've been following for three years. I unfollowed uh, when I was a year follower. Didn't mean uh, to. Just want to say thank you for streaming every day. Thank you, Nate for the sub, Billy for the thousand biddies. Also, this fucking Saturday or Sunday? This Sunday will be my three-year stream anniversary. So that's definitely cap that you've been following for three years because uh, I haven't even been streaming for three years. However, uh, this Thursday, or not this Thursday, this Sunday will be my three-year stream anniversary. August 6th of 2020 was the first stream I ever did. <laughs> and my nose is runny. Is strep throat, does strep throat correlate with a, a runny nose? I don't know. Nate from the sub, Billy for the thousand, but he's got my first paycheck, decided to give some of my favorite and most entertaining streamer. Hope you and Brooke feel better. Thank you, Cheetah for the three. I followed you exactly one year ago today. I want to say you're an absolute life changer. You made my life way better and made me happier. So thank you. Thank you. Unknown for the sub SJ for the four. Don't know if you remember, but I was the one with OCD and I had my first therapy session today. That's good. 
Uh, the max for the three. Mr. Joe Butterlizzi, please say you uh, are still playing the pass within with Zeusy. Maybe one day, but not today or in the near future. This next month, I almost have entirely planned out. Invader for the sub, big for the three. Can we do a foot reveal? No. Cheetah for the sub, Mercy for the three. You're lucky you're 21 when you got strep because there's some side effects with strep for people under 21 called pandas. It's like a 5% chance of happening and it screws with you so much. It's like OCD and cerebral palsy combined for like five years. But I'm like barely 21. Could I still get that? Well, man for the three. Well, then around three years. Oh, well, man. Optic for the three. Metallica is good, but you have to listen to genitals. I'm not... Metallica's good, but I have to listen to genitals. I have to listen to genitals, you fucking asshat. It's love for the sub. TTT for the three. Do you have any tips for new seniors? I start next Monday. Dude, just fucking apply to college early. Make sure you have the SAT taken if you haven't or the ACT. Uh, and just be on top of your shit, right? Because you're going to need to be on top of your shit in college, so you might as well start that shit now. Kid for the three. I did edibles for the first time like three months ago. Turned out it was 100 milligrams. Thought it was GG's. Now, you wouldn't die. You might just uh, kind of go, like, mentally insane for, for, like, a day or so. Uh, woman for the three. or not, Oh, it's not woman. It's woman. Wham man. Wham man. Okay, chat, what are we doing today? What are we doing today, chat? Even though I got fucking strep throat. What are we doing today? Green Goblin for the five gifteds. Gummy for the three. Could have been worse. I had strep throat and the flu. It was hell. You had both at the same time? Cheetah plays for the fucking 20 gifteds. Cheetah plays 200. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Thank, uh, or thank you. Oh, my God, bro. See, this is what I mean. My brain's running on fucking 5% five, 5 right now. Thank you for the 20 gifteds. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking 20 gifted Cheetah plays. Wham man for the three. Sam for the three. Got pulled over to the other day uh, and I accidentally said what uh, seems to be the officer problem. You got to do that at 2 a.m. And make sure when the office, when you get pulled over, start going like this so your eyes get really red. And then you say, what seems to be the officer problem? Shifu for the five. And then they definitely give you a breathalyzer. Andrea for the three. Going into my junior year, any tips to improve my work habits? Uh, don't procrastinate. Make yourself not procrastinate. Guilt trip yourself into not procrastinating. Outside of that, quick hypothetical question. Or not even hypothetical. Do you think anybody has purposefully gotten, like, a DUI? What I mean by that is, like, they weren't drunk. Do you think anybody's purposefully failed the, like, the walking test? Yes. At least one person has been like, I want to get arrested. And so they purposefully fail the fucking road test and then get and then refuse a breathalyzer just to blow zero and then go home. Mr. Dark for the sub. Garfield for the three. I'm on a long car ride to Magic Mountain. You've made this uh you made the seven minutes so much easier. Adam for the 317 uh biddies. I download uh Twitch to watch your streams. Done. All right, chat. The schedule for today is very simple. We're going to be starting out with an unbanned stream. If you don't know what an unbanned stream is. <laughs> it's essentially when somebody gets banned in my chat they have the option of submitting an unbanned request I go through not all of them some of them with my chat and decide whether or not they should be unbanned or banned it shows what they did wrong it shows all of their chats and why they believe they should be unbanned and then I go through that and determine with my chat whether or not they get banned forever or stay on uh, or get banned forever or get unbanned or stay banned forever or get unbanned. See, this is what I mean. This is why I have strep throat. My brain's going fucking 2 IQ right now. Hold up. Let me pull them up. After that, we're probably going to be transitioning to a bit of Fortnite. Uh, and then maybe some Valorant. Does that sound good? Chat. Yes or no? All the people that just submitted an unbanned request, I'm instantly denying you. Also, little PSA. If you try to get banned because you want a little fucking screeny and you think that's funny... And so you type the N-word in my chat to get a screeny, and then you get banned, and you're like, ha-ha, please unban me, this was a joke. You're not getting unbanned, right? Just use your brain. Uh, don't get banned purposefully. We will permaban you. We will just deny your request before I even see it, uh, because that's dickhead shit. Uh, it's annoying, right? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, scary videos? We're not doing scary vids today. 
We're actually doing scary videos. Uh, what, Wednesday? Today is going to be on Bands Fortnite Val tomorrow reactions. Oh, shit. Tomorrow reactions are going to be shorter. I'm doing Uno. We, uh, re we're going to do reactions tomorrow, same time, uh, 2 p.m. EST. And then, like, at, like, around 4 p.m., we're going to rock Uno with me, JoJo the Mofo, Zussi, and Tony Statovchi. I don't know how to fucking say his last name. The TikTok guy, Tony Statovchi. I don't, how do you say his name? I know how, it's Tony. That's what I call him, Tony. Tony Statovchi, uh, me, JoJo, and Zussi. We're going to run uh, Uno. Uh, not all day tomorrow. It'll be for like an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, but we're going to fucking, we're going to rock reactions, maybe 1.30 or 2 to like 4, and then like 4 to 6, 4 to 5.30, we're going to rock Uno. JJ for the sub, 1 for the sub. Uh, and Wham Man, uh, thank you for the 3 inch bitties. Uh, X, X YouTube for the sub, hello for the 3. Uh, Supreme for the sub, Adam for the 3 inch and 17 bitties. But that's the plan. Uh, is today fucking, uh, unbans Fortnite Bow, tomorrow reacts Uno, Saturday, uh, what the fuck are we doing Saturday? Oh, Saturday, Viewfinder Philosophy. Sunday, we're doing the fucking watch party. Probably with JoJo the Mofo. He's doing the same thing. So me and him are going to be on the call together. At 9 a.m. on Sunday, we're going to be watching a Premier League game live on my channel. Legally. And then we're going to do reactions after that. And then Monday, it's at 1 p.m. We're doing the same thing, watching another Premier game. And then we're going to fucking rock uh, custom zombies with me, Zussi, Gutsy Aiden and Zafo. Uh, so we're doing a lot of collabs uh, soon. So it should be fun. Let me turn on the fucking vibe music. So it's not fucking silent while we're going through these unbans. Morocco for the 6K biddies says play Elden Ring. Fuck no. Thank you for the 6K biddies though, brother. I appreciate the bits. Elden Ring was one of the worst performing games I've ever had on my channel. I am never playing Elden Ring again. Uh, and I also hated the game. It was a good game. It pissed me off. Uh, AG on for the three. Since you have strep throat, does that mean you can't come to my birthday party? Buddy, I wasn't coming anyway. Uh, Kalon for the five. Started to watch your streams on the 27th. Been watching on YouTube and TikTok for ages. Hope you, you and a, a Brooke get better. Thank you. Safe for the sub. Uh, and Morocco, bro. Thank you for the fucking 6K biddies. God damn. All right, let's lock in here, chat. Everybody type locked in for the first fucking unban. Or ban. We don't know yet. Sin for the three. One of my friends passed away last night. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, and watching your stream is making me feel a lot better. I mean, I'm glad I could help, but, like, genuinely, that fucking sucks you're going through that, man. I'm sorry your friend passed away. Uh, am I, I... I don't know if this is intruding, but how did they pass? Was it suicide? Was it an illness? Was it cancer? Was it something of, along those lines? You don't have to say, by the way. Um... <laughs> Cloak... Cloak will send... Hold up. I gotta, I gotta show you guys this, because this shit's funny as fuck. Cloak will randomly edit messages of me. Look at this. Dude, and he makes it look so real. I never... Uh, look. All right, guys. Slight change for stream today. Cloak's going to be streaming for me today. Mods can join him. I'm going to urgent care now instead like I should be. Bro, How? I never fucking said that. <laughs> like, I never fucking said that. And, he, and he'll send that in the group chat and be like, yeah, Joe just sent me this. I'm streaming today. Like, get the fuck out of here. All right. Let's lock in here, chat. First unban. Oh, somebody just requested a new one. And ban. All right. Luke on for the three. Have you ever heard of Christian Brotherhood Academy in New Jersey? Yeah, I ran against them in high school. I'm headed into senior year, and I'm kind of nervous. Still don't know what college I want to go to. When you when did you know what college you were going to? My senior year. Uh, abrasive for the sub. I visited a bunch of colleges my junior year. You kind of definitively decide what college you're going to between, like, November and May of your senior year. Uh, Tyler for the three. I always get sore, but I never get strapped. Uh, Ghost for the three. Uh, can you please calibrate with Blarg? Calibrate? Do you mean collaborate with Blarg and Smitty and Grizzy? I only know who Grizzy is. I don't know who the other people are. Sin for the three says it was an ATV accident. Oh my god, an ATV accident on the road or off roading? Green for the thousand pities. Kid for the three. Gonna put in Discord, game stretch tab, play Devil May Cry 5. She love and at 19 for the sub. All right. Lock in here, chat. Stop submitting unbanned requests. You're not getting unbanned. 
Oh my god, submit it before the fucking stream. Stop trying to get a fucking screeny. I will insta ban you. Insta ban you. I said it, and then your dumbass submits one. Insta ban. Gone. Gone. Fucking immediately. Ugh. And then some dumbass submits another unban. It says the N-word. I'm sorry, Joe. Dumbass ban. Taste toast for the three. My cat loves your streams, not even joking. When I, I watch you when my cat sits on... Holy fuck, I can't read. Whenever I watch you, my cat sits on my lap or desk and watches YouTube. That's fucking dope. First one. Stefan says, how you look so old, bro, you're old as shit. And I banned him. A bit harsh of a ban on my end. Uh, in all honesty, probably shouldn't have banned him for this. <laughs> uh, it wasn't really that big of a deal. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, this was yesterday. <laughs> this was yesterday. I banned him. Uh, Joe, I will give you subs and bits if you unban me. Oh my god, he's trying to he's trying to uh, t fucking prompt me to unban him with money. I promise never to insult you again. Love, Stefan. P.S. I love you, Joe. You know, I'll unban you, but your unban message is fucking dog shit. I'm unbanning you because I shouldn't have even banned you to begin with, and I feel bad that I did. Uh, level 3 Yacht, this was in reference to Brooke, uh, and so I banned you. Uh, and he said, sorry for saying Yacht to Brooke. I will never say something like that again. Can you please unban me? No. Um... Because there was a lot of people saying yacht to uh, my girlfriend uh, when she walked on camera. Uh, and that's not like a video game yacht. It's kind of just insensitive uh, and cringe, right? So uh, I banned you. Uh, or my mods banned you. Willie for the, th uh, for the sub. It was off-road. What happened? Do you know or do you know that he just passed away off-road? I'm sorry to hear that, Sin. Uh, and Brander for the Thousand Betty's and Midnight for the sub. Uh, another yacht. Uh, let's see. This is a longer apology, so maybe we'll maybe we'll see. Dear Joe, I hope this message finds you well. I'm writing to offer my sincerest apologies for my inappropriate behavior during stream. I deeply regret using the term yacht and any other offensive term that may have caused discomfort or offense to you and your community. My actions were disrespectful and inexcusable, and I take full responsibility for them. Thank you for taking the time to read this apology, and I sincerely hope for a chance to make amends and be a better member. That's a better that's a better request. Right, that's a that's an apology, right? That's a good apology, right? It, you, you still annoyed me that you said yacht when Brooke walked on camera, but that's a genuine apology, right? A genuine apology deserves an unban, right? I can accept an apology. L Joe game, hurry up, fuck you, Joe, no, and one. So all of their chats are absolute dog shit. I banned them. Uh, it was just clout chasing. Wanted to see if Joe would respond. Turns out he didn't. Well, I didn't respond, but I just banned you without saying anything. <laughs> I love doing that because they want me to respond so bad. And so, like, I'll just look over and I'll just scroll up. I'll just click their name, ban, and then just turn back. And, they, and then they get mad as shit because, because they've been spent. This kid only typed, like, five times. There will be people that will type, like, 400 times in my chat trying to get a response. I won't answer any of them. I'll just insta-ban, not even say anything, and then just go back to what I was doing. Uh, it turns out he didn't, so tough luck on my end. Sorry if I offended, uh, if it offended and mods, chatters, and Joe if he reads this. That was a shitty sentence. Uh, Joe's content is immaculate, and I wa love watching the videos. Dude, I'll unban you because it wasn't really that bad. W. Joe love from stars. W. Joe love from stars. What does that even mean? Love from stars? What the fuck? I didn't even do anything. Fuck you. That's a bit of a switch up there. Uh, you spammed, so you got rightfully banned. Um, but then the switch up from W. Joe Love to what the fuck, fuck you. Uh, that's a very fast switch up. Uh, Melon for the three, Jibbities. Uh, IS for the sub, Sin for the three. Went around a fast corner and flipped it onto himself. Holy shit. Am I wrong in saying ATVs are more dangerous than dirt bikes? Like, I don't know 100%, but I, I I used to ride dirt bikes when I was a kid for, like, four or five years. And everybody always used to tell me ATVs are more dangerous because they flip easier. Because, like, a dirt bike, if it falls on you, it's not weighing that much. But, like, if you're on an ATV and you're ramping it and you hit, like, a pebble, like, you could just go fucking flying. 
Hogs for the three. Can you play fucking coin game instead of four or Val? Dude, I might play a bit of coin game today. I don't know for sure. I don't know why you're so in love with that game either. It's like a good game, but it's like you're acting like it's like the best game ever made. Sandor for the three. Who's your favorite impractical joker? Chat, who's the best impractical joker? Am I, is Joe still up for grabs? Right? Because he's not an impractical joker anymore, but he was at one point. So I think he's still... He's still in contention for the best impractical joker. I'm gonna go Sal or Joe. I love Murr, but I'm gonna put Murr at the bottom, right? Murr has been growing on me uh, recently because I love how Murr always has a plan uh, and it never works. Um, but Murr... Uh, I, in order of best to worst, I'm probably going to go Joe or Sal interchangeable. Q's three, Murr four. Q, it, what also, you know, it also depends on the episode. Am I wrong? Explain. In Practical Jokers is like a show of four guys. It's like, which one am I choosing is the best? They're all good. It really depends what episode. Like some episodes, like Murr's the funniest. Some episodes, Joe's the funniest. Some episodes, Q the funniest. It depends what situation it is. I would say averagely, I think Joe and Sal are funnier because Joe will do anything and Sal is like scared of everything. But I mean, it really, it really just varies by the episode. Marco for the three uh, says, ga, 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 ga. Ryan for the sub cloak for the three. Uh, what the fuck? I made my starting soon screen and everything. I was prepared to stream, man. What happened to the plan? Cloak, you're not streaming on my account. Stop. Uh, all right. This is a ban. Next one. Uh, they typed in another language. Uh, I usually unban people for this, uh, but it's just a ban because it is a chat rule. This is an English stream. I can't read what you're saying if you're typing in a different language, uh, and neither can most of my chat, so it doesn't really make sense uh, to do that. Uh, this is what they said. Is that even words? That just looks like racist. The Chinese isn't bad word. Isn't a bad word I just started watching today. Wait, does that mean anything? I'm going to deny. But see, normally I would just unban, right? Because sometimes like people will type in Spanish or something and like, I mean, I can read a little bit of Spanish, but it's just like, it's just, it's an English stream, right? But most of the time I'd unban. Okay, this guy was going to say the N word. Um. <coughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely have strep throat. Yeah, I definitely have strep throat. What are some games you are planning to play? Uh, let's take a look. Uh, The Hunter, Call of the Wild, Beyond Two Souls. We're continuing Expanse Telltale. We're doing custom uh, BO3 zombies. Uh, Viewfinder, we're doing tomorrow. Wait, no, not tomorrow. Saturday. We're doing Uno tomorrow after Reacts. Uh, Baldi's Basics Plus. We're doing both of these games Wednesday. Baby and Yellow, My Friendly Neighborhood. Uh, both scary games. We're going to be able to finish Baby and Yellow. We're going to have to do a two-parter for My Friendly Neighborhood. Uh, Aperture Desk Job. These are two FMV games. Poker Stars. There's a lot of games. And then if you go on my recommended list, uh, there's a lot of shit as well. Morocco, thank you for the 10K biddies, by the way. Uh, but there's a... Oh, Subnautica. You guys want me to play Subnautica, right? We're doing Subnautica soon. Y'all want to see the schedule? Hold on. Don't talk about the handwriting. Hold on. I might do late night. I'm not going to be live the 12th, which is a Saturday. So I might do a late night Subnautica to start Subnautica on the 12th or on the 11th. Thoughts? Nice handwriting. Fuck off. No, but yeah, tom today is Fort Val on Bands. Tomorrow is React and Uno. Saturday, Viewfinder Philosophy. Sunday, the soccer premiere game and React at 9 a.m. and then 11 a.m. Reacts. 
1 p.m. Uh, soccer game on Monday, and then 3 p.m. zombies. Tuesday off, Wednesday, Baby and Yellow, My Friendly Neighbor. Thursday, we're doing the Expanse episode two because it comes out Fortnite. Friday is React, maybe late night Subnautica. Uh, how can you read that? Because it's my handwriting, dumbass. You can read your own fucking handwriting. It doesn't matter if you can't read mine. Uh, the 12th, I'm probably going to a concert. The 13th, I'm going to be live early uh, doing a React Andy stream. Monday is going to be... Uh, <laughs> the 14th will be VR Creed Johnson. So we're not doing VR next week. I hope that's okay, chat. We've been doing VR every week. We're not doing VR next week just because it's going to be packed. Uh, but we're doing a bunch of new games anyway. We're doing two new scary games. We're doing custom zombies. We're doing both of the premiere games. Uh, a lot of shit. And it's not all like... Like, I know I have this whole month written out, but it, it's like, it, some things are going to change. We want VR, I protest. Dude, I love VR. We're just going to continue doing it at another time. But there's a lot of other games I have on my wish list. Do y'all want to see my Steam wish list? Real quick. Hold up. Ah, dude, there's so many. I have Wobbly Life, Vertigo Remastered. I'm just going to list some ones. There is no game. Kindergarten 2. We're going to do Marvel uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales soon uh, in September. Uh, the reason we're doing Miles Morales is because I bought a PS5 and we're going to do the new Spider-Man in October. And I haven't done Miles Morales, so we have to play that. Uh, at Dead of Night, I will play FNAF Security Breach. Uh, do y'all want me to do that? We're going to do FNAF Security Breach later this month in like two or three weeks. Um, I'm going to get Drunken Bar Fight for VR. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I want to do one day with other streamers. Grounded, maybe. Green Hell with Zussi. Uh, It Takes Two with Zussi. Uh, Uncharted. I also have this game called Shrime, The Curse of the Butt Eye. Uh, and it's an asshole, but the hole in the ass is an eye, and it chases you. I also have a game called Man Eater. We're going to do Thief Sim when that comes out, but that got pushed back like two months uh, and some other shit. But there's a lot of games, Morocco, that we're going to be doing soon. Uh, but I hope that answers the question. Uh, and thank you for the 10K biddies, dude. Juicy River and Pluto for the sub one times for the sub. Man Eater? Man Eater is um, uh, like a shark game. Moist Critical played it. Played what? Shrine of Bud Eye? Hogs for the three. Coin Games the best game ever made. I don't think it's the best game ever made. Uh, but I will play it at some point. Cloak for the three. To be fair, you're probably going to get angry and hurt your throat playing Valor Fortnite. Coin game might be the way to go. Uh, or it's not. Morocco for the 10 game biddies, though. Marco for the three. Ryan for the sub. Cloak for the three. Uh, all right. Back to this. Joey for the 340 bets. Uh, oh, he was going to say the N-word. Uh, I take back my actions. Everybody makes mistakes. Mistakes? That's not how you spell mistakes. Uh, going to be a ban on that one. Uh, this guy says, Joe, put it in me already. Can you unban me, Plez? Uh, no. Uh, that teacher got more turbulence than ice spice. Oh, God. Uh, he didn't do anything, L fans. I'm sorry for what I did. Please unban. He said the N-word or tried to say the N-word. Uh, so that's another ban. Uh, I feel like I'm going to kill myself. I feel like I'm going to kill myself right now. I feel like I'm going to kill myself right now. I feel like I'm going to kill myself. Uh, this was, what, three days ago? Uh, I feel like I'm jumping off a bridge and drowning. I'm serious, man. Spelled serious wrong. Uh, I have so, I have too much pressure on me. And I've, I, okay, this might actually be a genuine message. I feel like jumping off a bridge and drowning. I'm serious, man, please. I have so much pressure on me and I feel like I can't take it anymore. I'm crying as I type this message because I never talk about my feelings like this to somebody. Well, dude, I, like, I appreciate that you're opening up about your feelings, but, like, you should try opening up to somebody that you know, right? Like, I, after I read this, I'm going to still give you advice, right? I don't even know if you're in my fucking stream right now, and I hope you're okay. But I am not the person to open up to first, comparably to somebody that legitimately knows you, right? I don't know how to explain this feeling inside of me. It's like getting stabbed by a hundred tiny needles. Please help me. I'm too young to die, 17 years old. Well, dude, if you're saying you're too young to die... You realize you're in control of whether or not you commit suicide, right? It's your life. Uh, this is my last cry for help. I'm done trying to help myself. Well, if you're done trying to help yourself, you're never going to get help, man. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to put it bluntly, but I mean, at the end of the day, dude, you got to fucking help yourself. Uh, you can get help. There's facilities to get help and you should go to those facilities. Um, but if you're going to go to these facilities, you're going to get help. You're going to go to like whatever fucking therapy, uh, a psychiatrist, your school therapist, uh, any of that. And you're, you're getting manipulated. I'm not getting manipulated. I'm just giving advice. This is just broad advice. This isn't even necessarily towards this kid. Um, dude, like you got to help yourself. If you're not going to fucking, if you're, if you're going to go to these places, you're going to, you're not going to actually try and do what they have to do or what they're doing to help you. Then it's, you're never going to get help. You can go to a therapist and a psychiatrist, but if you're going to sit there and still be adamant on killing yourself, uh, you're never going to get help, right? Because you you have to want to help yourself. It's the first part. I mean, it, it's, it, suicide is, is not an addiction, right? But I always say it's along the same lines of like, to get help, you have to want to get help, right? It's the same thing with suicide as addiction, right? If you're addicted to something and you don't want to get help, you're never going to get over your addiction because you don't give a fuck, right? It doesn't matter if you go to rehab or you fucking go get help for whatever the fuck you're doing. If you don't want help, you're never going to get help. Even if you get help, it's never going to help you because you don't care, right? If you don't actually want to get help and you're saying you're just going to give up, you're never actually going to get over your depressive issues because you need to actually try and fucking help yourself, right? I'll unban you, dude, but like, I, I always am just hesitant on, on a lot of these messages. Um, just because a lot of people do come into my stream and fake being suicidal for attention, which I think is the biggest loser energy thing you could ever do, uh, is faking being depressed for fucking attention. Uh, wait, no, not, a, uh, that'll be an unban, right? But, uh, I mean, that's all the advice I could give you there, man. Tom for this, uh, for the three. Case for the $50 fucking dono. Case X. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Thank you for the fucking $50 dono. Love the streams. Uh, you do, and I can't wait for the videos in the future. Thank you for the fucking 50, dude. Appreciate the fucking dono. W dono. Somebody said L Joe. How's that an L Joe? Uh, they're just typing L Joe for attention. Another loser chatter right there. And vote for the three. It must be hard to know when to believe somebody in this instance. That's what I'm saying. Especially because it's over text, right? You can't tell... Like, have you ever had a conversation with somebody over text and, like, they misinterpret what you mean? Because you're saying a sentence, but how you say the sentence can't be determined through text, right? Like, your emotion is not, you can't tell if it's a joke, if they're serious, if they're sad, if they're mad. Like, how you say a sentence determines what the sentence means, even if the text is the same, right? And so, like, I can't tell if they're... It, that seemed more serious than other ones, but some some seem like they're just trying to get me to fucking respond to their chat, and then they get happy. Uh, but what I will say, and this is just a broad term of advice, if you're ever with uh, your boyfriend or girlfriend, and you want to break up with them, and they threaten to kill themselves if you break up with them, that ain't your fucking problem. Flat out. That's manipulative. I am a serious advocate for mental health issues. I talk about suicide every other day on this stream. But if you're with someone and they say they're going to kill themselves if you leave them, dead ass, leave them the second they say that. And if they kill themselves... That's, th like, it, you. that's not your fault. Like, it's genuinely not your fault. Like, it, you can try and get them help and say, you need help, but I'm leaving you anyway, right? Because that's so fucking manipulative. Like, to, to sit there and be like, if you leave me, I'm going to kill myself. Like, like, putting your life in their hands and forcing them to be with you. Leave them. Braden for the sub. Cheetah for the five. Just tell them to get help. But, like, don't be like, fuck you, do it. Like, that's, that's in response as bad as what they said to you. But be like, you need to get help, but that's manipulative. Goodbye. Right? Cheat up for the five. My birthday's coming up soon, and it would be a real dream gift to get happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Uh, Braden for the sub for the three. What's the next VR stream? Probably in a week and a half. 
Uh, AJ for the three, and Joey for the 340 bets. Uh, Dat Wolf for the sub, SJ for the 310 bets. As somebody who was previously suicidal, going to therapy was the best thing. Exactly. I've now returned for OCD. Well, it's good that you're still going to therapy again. Uh, Tom for the three. All right. And no, for the three. Unlimited bacon, but no games, or, uh, or games, unlimited games, but no games. Dude, I love Ted and fucking, um, Schlatt. Uh, this kid said, Joe, do you support the LGBTQ and got banned? Uh, but they also said, Joe says the N-word off cam. I do not. Uh, that was deadass, my little brother. I promise I won't let him do that disgusting shit again. I really apologize. Well, all of your chats are fucking awful. Can I have $3? I'm hungry. Uh, you fat fucking blank. Uh, Zeusy's lying. He says he doesn't like watermelons or bananas. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. That's absurdly racist. Uh, and to basically my best streamer friend. Uh, so fuck you. Uh, I don't care if your brother said that. Your brother's a dickhead. Uh, and so your account's gonna get banned. Uh, case for the, th uh, for the sub. Oh, ban him in Zeusies. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. What was his user? Fuck. What was his user? Zeusy's not live right now, though. We got to go in Zeusy's chat. Zeusy's not live right now, though. We got to go in Zeusy's chat. Oh, Zeusy's hosting me? Oh, I love Zeusy. Dude, I don't even know how to host. I've tried to host like five times, and it doesn't work. Oh, he's already banned. <laughs> <laughs> he was already banned in Zeusy's chat two weeks ago. He said, Joe is racist, he said, and then literally just said the N-word. Oh my god, these are all so racist. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, dude. I feel bad for the fucking stupid ass chatters that Zussi has to deal with, bro. My god. Nah, he said some fucked shit. Bomba for the sub. I open, I look up his user, he's already banned. He's been banned for fucking two weeks. CRZ for the three. Have been an active as active lately. Dude, you don't have to apologize for that. You can show up whenever you want. Dude, I don't even know how many unbans we have. Be okay, we have 62. Jesus Christ, we gotta get through these. My friend said he rubbed one out to you. My fault won't happen again. Dude, you don't need to tell me that, right? Like, that's something you can keep to yourself, right? Like, you don't need to say that. That's just, like, an intrusive thought that, like, needed to come out, right? And everybody has intrusive thoughts. Some people say them sometimes. But, like, man, that's one that's, like, yeah, you shouldn't have said that one right like what free my boy relax i'm gonna ban him just because dude he has fucking he has like four chats in my fucking chat show your ass show your ass show your ass it's his only chats this is my little brother he has autism and i wasn't home i'm sorry for what he did dude i'm still banning you you said show your ass and that's the only chats and then, and then the idea that's like, oh, he has autism and I wasn't home. I feel like that's like trying to guilt trip me into an unban. I'm still going to ban. It's just a base chat rule. Then I. I want to fuck you. Why am I banned? I wonder why you put hi. I want to fuck you. This was eight, six months ago, though. They might have not remembered. Uh, but I'm still going to ban there. Joe Bartolozzi's grandpa, zero chats. I've been banned for three days. I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess they said something that was restricted, and so their chats don't show up. Uh, but I'm wondering what they said. Cruz will ban them. Is Cruz here? Cruz is not here, so he couldn't tell us. Uh, but I'm going to ban here. Uh, smash, smash, smash. Does Joe stream on Keck? Check your Clash of Clans village. It's being raided. You're being raided on Clash of Clans. Why would I give a, a fucking rat's ass? Would you lobotomize a child? Would you lobotomize a child? Oh my god. Dude, his chats are so weird. Somebody's behind you. Buy a chicken. You should box KSI, blow his back out. Roblox VR. What? 
I was wrong to say this. If you have the hard time ban me, I'll never do it again. Thanks for your time. Dude, all your chats are ass. What are you doing if I pop a grenade down your chimney? Go to Gross Venner and do Goliath Tournament. What is that? Deny. Was that during my poker stream? This video is boring as fuck. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, and then spammed. Like, I don't want to say, like, some people in my chat have, like, the legitimate attention span of a peanut. But, like, wow. Wow. That is fucking... Dude, like, you're, bo you're bored by a video. Uh, yo, mods, permaban Leo is better and never unban him. Uh, thank you. Uh, sip for the sub. Case for the uh, for the $25 down on mods. Please watch the chat. There's a few people that are trying to get banned right now. Just perma ban and uh, deny their unban request. Uh, case for the $25 down on the amount of people that's banned is crazy. How many people? Let's do a guess. I, I, I actually can't see as the streamer. How many people do you think are banned in my chat all time? Like perma banned. I would guess like 10,000. No, probably less. 5,000. Uh, uh, over, because we do these every like two weeks, and there's, and I'll, most people that get banned don't submit an unbanned request. It's a lottie for the sub, because they know they're going to stay banned, right? Like most people stay banned and they'll just say the N word and, and then not submit an unbanned request. I would say five to 10,000, somewhere in that range. CRZ for the three, I've been inactive, but uh, I hope you've been doing well. Never got to my to finish my sentence. What do you mean? Braxton and Sift uh, for the two gifted Bomba for the sub, CRZ for the three. Oh, you put butt and then didn't finish. Uh, Romberg for the sub. All right. Now, but like literally the attention span of a rat. Uh, how do people have such a low attention span? I don't get it. Like you were bored for four seconds. And so you just started mashing on your keyboard. I was banned over a year ago for some jokes that I thought were funny at the time, but I realized they're not. And I think I should be unbanned for my actions. You did not get banned over a year ago. You got banned less than four months ago. Most year bans all unban, right? Like, if you do some fuck shit, like, a year or two ago, and it's not, like, that bad, I'll, I I won't really give a fuck. I'll unban you, right? But you, are you saying, I'm assuming they, they got banned in a different chat, maybe? They haven't even been, their account was made in March. Over a year ago. That's not true. I ate graham crackers from between my teacher's toes. Oh, God. Cardi B versus Ben Shapiro. Seven timeouts? Yeah, because they just spam. You can add stuff to spam with friends with a fucking winking emoji. Deny. Uh, they just put black peoples. Why am I banned? I would assume this was uh, for some racial reasoning. Uh, I don't think this was ever something that was needed or warranted in chat. Uh, so I would assume this was racist. Uh, so I'm going to deny. Uh, El Riz Ew, yes, blowed his back out. You think he's okay? Is he okay? I want to apologize for my actions. I didn't mean what I said. I don't know if I can't chat just as long as I can watch you is enough. I'm sorry. Said racial J slur in Elsis's chat towards Zussie. Really weird off stream. And their profile picture is Zussie. That will be a goodbye to you, sir. He said the J slur. That is fucking absurd. Uh... Please 1212W Cancer. As you know, I am a feeble-minded Twitch chatter. And in the spur of the moment before I'd processed that saying W Cancer is in fact not a good thing to say, I had already typed it and realized that I'm a fucking dumbass for that. And if you look at my chat history, you're going to see that I haven't done anything else worth banning. Bye-bye now. I mean, they've been here since 2021. Late 2021, but 2021 nevertheless. Um, do we unban? 
I mean, they said W cancer, dude. LGB for the sub. Uh, Uga for the three. Good morning, Joseph. Romber for the sub. Decent, decent apology. A uh, lot of unbans in chat. All unban. Can I suck your toes? And then grim shake. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. I just wanted to be funny. Please, I'm sorry. Uh, I like wh why I feel like these chats are deemed as funny because some Twitch chatters like like fucking feed into them and they think it's funny. But like, I feel like it's overdone, right? Like two years ago, if some chatter was like, Joe, can I suck your toes? I would have been like, haha, that's pretty funny, right? But, like, after being a streamer for almost three years and seeing Joe Can I Suck Your Toes for three years, like, it's not funny. Oh. All right, well, that's a ban. You're 4-2, Joe Daddy, you single, you single, fuck me, Joe Daddy. It's been a minute. I don't know why I said this shit, but I'm sorry you have to unban me. Oh, you don't have to unban me, but uh, if you do, I won't say sus shit again. Wrong version of your, uh, Joe Daddy, you single? No, I am not. Are you single? Fuck me, Joe Daddy. That's weird. Uh, this was a while ago, though. Almost eight months ago. Or not eight months ago. Seven months ago. Uh, I'm gonna go deny on this one, because it's your only chats. Uh, kindergarten, 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 kindergarten. I'm assuming they wanted me to play the game. Uh, my bad, Joe. I just wanted to see you yet play kindergarten again. I didn't want to be an asshole. My bad. I'm not going to spam again. I feel like I've been more lenient on spammers. Also, where the fuck is the Minecraft music? It's been paused this entire time. All right, there we go. I feel like I've been more lenient on spammers, though. This was two years ago? What do you mean this was two years ago? False banjo, that was a year ago. What was a year ago? What was a year ago? The last ban? Uh, I feel like I'll unban this guy, though. I mean, like, I, he spammed a bit, but it's it's like his other chats aren't really bad. So I'll unban. Press E for the sub, K bond for the five. I get my one-year sub badge in two days. Do you remember me? Uh, I recognize your user. Uh, yeah, K-Bon, I recognize your user. YM for the sub. Oh, my God. <coughs> Holy shit. All right. Yo, I definitely have strep throat, because since I've went live, I feel like, I feel like mildly high, and I haven't gotten high in, like, three days. Like, oh, I, my, I'm slow. Should I do a math test? That'll determine how slow I am right now. Let's do addition. Five plus seven is 12. 10, 14, 7, 17, 8, 8, 5. 11, 6, 11, 10. Okay, that's too easy. I need multiplication. Hold up. Hold up. One test real quick. One test real quick. Hold up. Wait, no. Here's test your math. This one looks better. No, we'll do multiplication. Okay. 4 times 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 4, 18. Oof. 48, 10, 15, 36, 8, 6. Okay, I got that shit done. I'm quick. I'm quick with the math. I'm quick with the math. That's all that matters. Endo for the three. What concert are you going to? Uh, it'll be like a group concert, probably for like country music. I've never been to a country concert. Uh, so I don't know if I'll like it. Dylan for the sub, NVT for the thousand biddies. Me and my friend are sitting in Buffalo Wild Wings watching your stream. How did we? How do we? How much should we tip the waiter? Twenty percent uh, is the general rule of thumb in the United States. 
Uh, I hate cancer, F cancer, W cancer, F cancer. So a little bit of a switch up here. W cancer and F cancer. Please unban me. Are you really siding with cancer right now? I just said F cancer, bro. I love Joe. You said W cancer. Uh, but you also said F cancer. And the guilt trip is crazy. And the guilt trip is crazy, though. Are you really siding with cancer right now? The fucking gaslighting is nuts. 12% max. I tip 5%. Yeah, and every waiter and waitress you've ever had fucking hates you. Bam. Eternal for the sub. What percentage should you tip, chat? I shouldn't even be asking you guys. Half of you guys are fucking 14. When the fuck are you ever paying for a restaurant bill? 20%. Fifty percent. Okay, now you're pushing it. Fuck. Most I've ever tipped was thirty-five percent, and that'll be on drinks usually. Ah. Uh. All right, next one. Miller for the sub. 25 of they're really good. Yeah, 20 to 25%. How much do you tip a DoorDash driver? Now, that's a question my chat can actually answer. 15%. If it's close. If it's far, 20, right? If I'm getting like Mickey D's, 15, right? Because that's like not that far. Like there's a McDonald's every fucking five minutes, no matter where you are. But if it's like, if it's like a far drive, like a 20, 20, 20 minute drive, I'm going to tip them like 22%, right? It depends how far the drive is. That's how much I determine how much I'm going to tip. But if I get like a $20 meal, I'll probably tip like five bucks. Four to five dollars. Somebody said fuck them bozos. All right, next one. Oh, another another request here. Uh, Insta deny that one. Mill up for the sub. This kid said I stroke my Johnson to you, JK. Uh, sorry for what I did. It was really irresponsible for me to say, and I deeply apologize. I hope you could give me a second chance. If not, it's fine. Have a good day. Now, do I unban because they said JK directly after it? So they weren't serious. They still got banned for it, though. You know, it's just a shitty joke. It's clearly a shitty joke because they did say JK. I'll unban. Don't say that again. Because they immediately were like JK. But, like, any future people, I'm probably just going to ban. They're going to eat dogs. That's definitely racist. They said, you know, it was funny. I didn't even fucking see your chat. Uh, Joe, I'm only eight. I'm not eight. Joe's referencing somebody's age, and I jokingly said I was eight. Uh, I'll believe that. I highly doubt there's an eight-year-old in my fucking Twitch chat right now. Uh, I will murder. I want to murder little chickens because I hate chickens and basketball people. I love saying my fave word at KFC. I'm sorry I've been watching Joe on Everest forever. I finally decided to get to Twitch. Joe's my idol. I really wanted him to notice me. So for you, for me to notice you, you started typing racist sentences. Deny. I need some advice. I wanted my girlfriend to spend the night with me. She saw me humping my dog and my girlfriend ran away. What the fuck? Scary reacts with Brooke's feet. What? Scary, do scary reacts with Brooke's toes. Do scary reacts with Brooke's feet. I didn't even say anything bad. Besides, I love Joe's stream. I don't want to be banned. Yo, dog, what the fuck? You asked for scary reacts, and then they were like, with Brooke's toes. What does that even mean? Like, you just want her feet on camera, bro? That's weird. Deny. Bro said scary reacts with Brooke's feet. Oh, God. Yeah, I want her to poop in my mouth and then lick my nips and put her thighs on my face. Oh, brother. No. Spamming to eat a Carolina Reaper at 15K. 15K what? Oh, viewers? Was this during my Expanse stream? I would assume this was during my Expanse stream when I had a lot of viewers because I was front page. Yeah, if this would fucking load. Okay, there we go. Got the goddamn Dell computer. Yo, does anybody remember? I mean, some of y'all still might have those computers. 
Anybody remember, like, your ho your family computer in, like, the early 2010s? That was, like, a shitty $200 Dell that when you would click Google, it would take, like, a minute and a half to open. And so you would spam click Google, and then all at once, fucking 500 tabs of Google Chrome would open, and then your PC would borderline crash. I still have that. Yeah, Internet Explorer. Dude, I remember that. That was like school PCs too. You would have the one, like every computer was the same, but some would be faster than others. And you would get stuck with like the shitty computer at the computer lab. And your friend would be running like fucking 30 FPS fucking Roblox. You'd be running like 10. It would suck. Uh, yeah, no, I think this was the Expanse sponsor. Uh, so he was just spamming for me to eat some shit uh, at the uh, 15k mark. So Raider for the three. You should, like, you should play Friday the 13th game with other streamers. I would definitely be down. Milla and Eternal for the sub. We're doing Uno. Me, uh, JoJo, Zussi, and fucking Tony uh, tomorrow after reacts. Uh, after like two hours reacts. So I'd definitely be down. Ugh. It'd just be more so when. Because I'm doing custom BO3 on Monday too with other streamers. So we're doing a bunch of collabs. Who would y'all want me to play Friday the 13th with? Um, Streamer-wise. Because I could try and set some shit up. Yo, JoJo! Speaking of... Yo, JoJo, you want to do Friday the 13th one day? Uh, an Axe World for the fucking thousand biddies. Oh, this music's going to make me cry. This fucking Minecraft music. Hold up. Yo, we'll talk about it on Saturday, but, like, life is fly. It's, we're talking about it Saturday because it's viewfinder and philosophy. Whenever I hear Minecraft music, though, I get so sad from nostalgia just because it makes you real. Like, I have flashbacks to me sitting on my grandparents' uh, bed when I was, like, nine or ten like playing Minecraft PE on my phone or like maybe like 10 or 11 and I would watch Minecraft all I would do all day no responsibilities and I remember just when I was a kid I was a really bored kid bro because I didn't like in all honesty when I was like I mean I got friends now I had friends in high school but like when I was like 10 11 12 I had like no fucking friends I, like, I would literally just sit at my house all day, every day, and I would be bored out of my ass. And I would just sit there and, like, play Minecraft or watch fucking Minecraft all day. And, like, it was so fun. Like, oh, my God, it's going to make me cry. Dude, it, like, literally, and, like, looking back at that, like, it was sad because I was, like, a lonely kid. But it was, like, dude. I miss that shit. I miss being able to fucking nonstop no life the shit out of like any fucking video game and like just sit on my ass and watch like, dude, what are they fucking called? Oh my God. It was three bro or three friends and they would play Minecraft together. I talk about it all the time and I always forget their fucking names. Danny and then I forget their other one. Danny, Max and something else. Oh, MC Finest. Oh! Here it is. 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 I used to fu- I remember- uh, Dude, so- Somebody said so repeatable. What do you even mean? Dude, I used to watch- th This intro was so nostalgic. To me. And it was a smaller YouTube channel, but I used to watch them every day, bro. Every day. Hold up. We got another un unban request. I got to fucking deny. I also should turn down the fucking music. Now it's way too loud. Yo, did JoJo say anything in my chat? JoJo said, oh shit, that's me, sure, man. Dude, we got to. Also, JoJo, did you ever play Minecraft as a kid? I feel like JoJo didn't. 
I feel like JoJo definitely didn't. JoJo probably played like Pong because he's like old as fuck. I love Minecraft. WTF. I'm joking. I'm joking. You're a year older than me. I'm joking. I'm joking. He's going to get angry. He's going to get angry. He's going to get angry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Cloak for the three. Have you ever watched a tribute to Minecraft? That video will make you cry. A tribute to Minecraft? Send it in the video suggestion tab. Zeno for the five. Been a, having a rough time recently. My aunt just passed away of cancer and so did my dog. Rip in the chat and I'm sorry that you're going through that. I broke up with my girlfriend to do long distance, which sucks. Uh, I've been watching you a lot recently and it's helping me get bad thoughts off of my mind. So I just wanted to thank you for a, a great, uh, for being a great streamer and making people's days, weeks, and years. Uh, thank you, Joe. Dude, what a nice message. And I'm sorry you're going through that, man. It'll get better. It'll just take time, but it'll get better, bro. You'll, you'll, you'll fucking, you'll get through it. I'm sorry you're fucking going through that. Ethan for the sub, Axel for the five. I mean, I'm glad I could help in any way that I could, though. Megan for the three. How did you get through that period of loneliness? Loneliness, I feel kind of uh, stuck right now. Um, you got to learn to be happy alone. You, you should still be open to being like, I mean, it's the same thing relationship wise. Like people that get out of relationships and jump right into another one. It's, it's going to make you have a shitty relationship. If you're able to be happy alone, then you'll be happy with someone. Right, and then it then it won't matter, right? What happens? Uh, it's the same thing with like trying to find somebody that's good for you, right? Like even what even like fucking two three years ago, I was trying to like find like the girl, but when you're trying to find, and this is specifically for guys, because a lot of guys do this, if you're trying to find like the right girl for you, and you just keep searching. Part of your problem is you're so focused on finding the right person for you that you're not focused on yourself at all, right? And when you start to focus on yourself and you start to just try and better yourself, the right person will just come along. And that's exactly what happened with Brooke. It was like late summer of 2021. I was just like, I got to just focus on myself, right? Like say August of 2021, like maybe even before that, maybe and probably August of 2021. I was just like, I got to focus on my own shit. Focus on myself for like two months. Then I started talking to Brooke, right? You just got to, you got to make yourself better. If you make yourself better, number one, you're going to be happier with yourself. And number two, you're going to be more desirable. Mercy for the three. Do you know what games you and JoJo are watching on Sunday and Monday? Because the Premier League doesn't start until August 9th. JoJo, do you know what games were watching? I, I said yesterday, do you know what games we're watching? I think it's friendly matches. I'll literally look right now. I have it on. I have the. Uh, hold up. I don't even know if JoJo's here. Waxtap versus Tottenham uh, and Liverpool versus Preston North. Uh, Liverpool and Preston North is Monday, and then Tottenham is uh, the Spurs are uh, Sunday. Uh, Axe World for the Thousand Betties. Uh, and JoJo for the sub. Thank you, bro. Uh, have you ever watched... Oh, I, already uh, I already read that. Fastian for the sub, the cookie for the three. I have to kill the vibe of the Minecraft music. Can you play Chill Gravity Falls music as well? I actually will play that. Uh, and I looked at my old Minecraft rolls a few weeks ago, and all my pets were still there waiting. Fastlane for the sub. I would kill to have my old fucking Minecraft PE worlds back. Gravity Falls Lo-Fi. Also Vibey. Used to play that with the Minecraft world all the time. All right. Hold up, I gotta ban this person. Next one. Uh, Ivory for the sub. My, my Minecraft PE worlds were elite. Did anybody play Minecraft PE before there were caves and you just had to fucking dig straight down? There were no caves at all. It was just like there was like a few. And the world was like fucking 500 blocks by 500 blocks. There were no caves. If you wanted shit, you just had to drill. You just had to either strip mine or just drill in holes straight down. Toad in ham. I don't know how to say it. I got to Google that. I was trying to pronounce it last yesterday. And my chat was trying to help me. Tottenham. Oh, Tottenham. Tottenham Spurs. Tottenham. Tottenham Spurs. Tottenham. Tottenham. That's what it looks like. It's T-O-T-T-E. Tottenham. 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 Got it. 
Uh, Jane and Dubs for the sub. Uh, this guy just said the F slur. Uh, deny. Uh, they just said that. This was my friend typing these words, not me. Yeah, but you still, still got to ban you for that. Worst state is Argentina. This guy really must hate Argentina. Turtles are plastics? Question mark. Sounds like a DJ Khaled quote. Uh, high best friend, high breast friend. So being a little bit parasocial to fiddle banks there. Uh, set his age as 11. Yeah, too young to use Twitch. I did not know you had to be uh, a Pacific age to watch Joe. Yeah, you're definitely... Yeah, this kid's definitely 11, bro. I didn't know you needed to be a Pacific age. Wow. Can you ban me? Deny. Asking for a ban. Bro said Pacific. Can I... You have to be a Pacific age. Uh, I it would never shoot a school and kill random kids. Only if the kids deserved it. I would never kill random kids. A Uno movie where people are kidnapped and forced to play a giant Uno game. And if you have more than 10 cards, you die and the winner gets uh, $100,000. 100K is not a lot to do that. I'm sorry what I said was uh, fucked up. I'll never do it again. Also, what is humans are better than the aliens? What? Also, what is humans are better than the aliens? That makes no fucking sense. Then he put some random IP address. I gotta ban you, bro. You shouldn't put the question mark tattoo. Oh, you should put the question mark tattoo you have on the beanie. I think that would actually be copyrighted. Because this is the uh, Gravity Falls question mark. And so I don't know if I would be allowed to sell beanies with the Gravity Falls question mark. Uh, is Monsty for the sub? Uprise and J-Nubs for the sub. Uh, just a bit of spam, though. They put dang my B. Uh, do I want to ban unban Joe Bartolozzi underscore 69 for the spam? Yes or no? Is this a ban or an unban? Unban? Name spelled wrong, so yes. Well, I think that I think Joe Bartolozzi with an O is probably taken. Uh, they said that, which is racist. They put love me. Uh, these are all racist chats. Jesus, dude, do you fucking stream? Are you suggested channels? Phase Sway, Zemi, always bored with the fucking fingers pointing towards each other. I haven't seen somebody do this in like three years. I feel like that was like 2020 shit for people to fucking uh, do like the ooh woo, like the ooh woo fucking discord shit. Addison, uh, the big stick and Bradley for the sub uh, is for the two gifted uprise for the sub. Uh, Joe, he's a rapper spammed a bunch of times. It's basically all of their fucking chats. Uh, Joe unbanned me. I wasn't actually trying to get banned. I wanted to piss you off for the laughs. I'm new to Twitch. I didn't know I could get banned this easily. This easily, dog. You type Joe, he's a rapper a hundred times. I'll be a regular chatter, even though your community doesn't consist of regular people. If you on that doesn't consist of regular people. Is that an insult? Is that a fucking insult? If you unban me, I'll be a regular chatter, even though your kids community doesn't consist of regular people. If you wanna if you unban me, W streamer, if you didn't, I'm in your walls, Joe, run. My whole chat just put banned just because of that. Uh what about KFC and Kool-Aid? Yep, another racist chat. Sorry for making that comment. It was racist. I won't make remarks like that again. Yeah, and I could just ban you so you don't. W cancer, uh exclamation point watch time. Not uh not right to make fun of cancer. But my dad has it, so I get a free pass on baby. You don't get a free pass to make fun of cancer because your dad has cancer. Your dad gets a free pass to make fun of cancer. That's like saying that's like saying your brother's half black, so you can say the N-word. That doesn't make sense. It's fine if you don't unban me because I barely type in things in chat anyway. Bro, why is everybody mad at me? I was just joking. I was just joking. Joking about what? Oh, guys, he's dead. And then they put, I want Joe in me. 
So two cringy chats and my chat probably lost their shit on him. Whenever, whenever somebody says I've been in the hills in my chat, if I don't see it, my chat just bombards them with fucking, with fucking anger. Just like, dude, shut up. Like, <laughs> it's probably like a Fortnite stream. He was like, oh, uh, guys, he's dead. I've been in the hills. And he probably got like a thousand responses. Uh, all right, we'll ban. Ah, do we have one of Yeah, no, ban for that. The guys he's dead, I would have unbanned. At Todd will ban me, yo. At Todd will me, me. Mods ban, mods ban. I wanted to see what would happen because I've never been banned. Just wanted to see the experience, so please unban. Dude, what is the point of asking for a ban if you're going to fucking ask to be unbanned? If you're going to ask for a ban, stay fucking banned. Banned. You have big muscles. Don't listen to that blank. Don't worry, Joe. We all love you. I love you, Joe. You are athletic. You have huge muscles. He's the most muscular person on Twitch, probably. Highly doubt that. Uh, actually, I know that's untrue in numerous ways. I'm sorry for saying that word. I was just trying to defend Joe from the hate speech of another chatter who said he was unathletic. I wouldn't say that's hate speech. Hate speech is not somebody calling me unathletic. I was doing my civil duties. Dude, I appreciate you defending me, but you went a bit far on that one. Uh, so that's got to be a ban, dude. Uh, I wouldn't try to fuck your girlfriend. I think you would murder me. Uh, I don't think you would do. I don't think you would do that anyway, even if I didn't murder you. Uh, nor would you try to do that. Like, what the fuck? What a random odd chat. I said that as a joke because Joe is big as fuck and he could one punch me. I will never chat anything except W or L. Please unban me. I will give him a sub 10 minutes. I just gave him a sub 10 minutes ago. I love the streams. I'm sorry if you don't want to ban me. I'm just, I'll just not chat and stick to watching. I'm from Spain. Sorry for, for bad English. Your English was like perfect until you said sorry for my ban England. I'm going to ban. 28 left. Is anybody else looking at Joe's balls when he swings? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sorry for the chats. I'm just realizing now that my friend was using my computer at the time. Please unban. I love your streams. Dude. Is anyone else looking at Joe's balls when he swings? What? what? Swinging where? On what? Joe's a mad stoner and he's pissed drunk right now. Joe's got vaginas in his armpits. What are these insults? I, I, you could say I'm a stoner. I wasn't drunk. And I don't have vaginas as armpits. I just fucking shave my armpits. Jason Tyler for the sub, fast lane for the three. I want to say, I wanted to say thank you because my dad recently died of suicide. I'm sorry to hear that. But your streams always find a way to cheer me up. I'm glad I could help and rip in the chat for fast lane's dad, dude. Lando for the three. Tell Aiden to wake up. Aiden, wake up. Tidy for the three. Uh, if your new drink sponsor ended up uh, happening, if so, what is the company in your promo code? Uh, oh, I don't know if it started. It will start soon, so I don't have the promo code yet. So sell for the three. Love your uh, streams. Thanks for making my day as well as others. Keep up the content. Much love. Stretch for the sub. I don't know for the sub. Joe's lost for the three. Been watching your vids since the pandemic beginning, and I love it. It's always 2 a.m. for me when you're live, so I can't really join often. Well, I'm glad you could join today. Uh, and thank you for the biddies. Addison, the big stink for the sub. Bradley for the sub. Molly for the three. I want to ask your opinion on something. Uh, I am a physical education major, but I am not that much of an athlete, uh, athletic person because I've had a heart transplant and asthma and some health problems lately. With schoolwork, I haven't had much motivation to work out and be active, but I found my perfect major, and I'm enjoying it. But I feel like I'm not an ideal person to be a PE teacher. Dude, you can still be a PE teacher. It doesn't matter if you're fucking yoked or not. You can still be a physical education teacher. You just have to have the knowledge. And even so, you, you have the knowledge. You just, dude, you've had fucking health problems. It's not like, oh, you're just lazy. You, like, you're saying, yeah, I haven't had motivation. You also have schoolwork, and you had a fucking heart transplant, and you have asthma. 
Like, you can just slowly get back into working out, dude. It's not a big deal. Uh, and even at that, dude, I like, if it's your major and you love it, if you love P, if you love um, your, your physical education major and you really want to go with that, stick with it. Why not, dude? Like, I, I always want to say, like, yeah, there's so, people go down a lot of paths in life, right? Uh, Career-wise. They either go into stuff that they don't want to do and that makes a lot of money, or they go into something that they like and that might make money later on, but initially it might not make that much, right? PE teachers, you're going to make a decent salary, but you're not going to be making a fucking bag. But, like, later on, you're going to have fucking perfect benefits. You're going to have a fucking good 401k. You're going to be able to fucking retire at a decent age. Like, if you're going to have a job, you might as well like that job, right, is my take on it, right? And I know, I know, like, if you want to do a job that you're going to hate and you're going to make a bag off of, that's fine, right? But part of the problem is even if you're making a bag off that job, you're probably not making enough of a bag to retire anytime soon, right? Like, if you're making, if you're doing a job that you hate, but it makes a million dollars a year, good shit, do the job, right? But most people's jobs that they hate, that they end up doing, make like 100K a year. And that's good, but you're not going to be re able to retire for like fucking 15 years. So, are you really going to stick with a job for over a decade and a half that you fucking hate? Or would you rather just stick with a job that pays a bit less that you're going to have to do for, yeah, 25, 30 years, but you're going to love your job. You're going to be happy to go to work. You're not going to be a pain. You're going to enjoy it, right? You might have days where you don't want to do it, but like, you're still going to like your job, right? You got to pick it. And a lot of people always say, uh, they used to tell me in high school, like there's a sliding scale between fun and money and where, <laughs> and if the job's fun, you're going to make fucking nothing. But if the job makes a lot of money, you're going to have no fun. I honestly think that's untrue because McDonald's makes no fucking money and that ain't fun at all. So like, and there's jobs that make a fuckload of money that are fun. It's just, you got to find the job that's right for you. And then if you find that right job, then stick with it. Try and make as much money as you can within that job. And then maybe use that money to invest and make money outside of it or grab another part-time job or something like that. Make more money, fucking invest get money, get a fucking return rate, invest early because the earlier you invest, the the fucking more money you're going to have later on in life. Likely, this is not financial advice. This is not financial advice. Asterisk, asterisk, this is not financial advice. I'm, I'm required to disclose that. This is my own personal opinion. Ferns for the three. Love the streams, Joe. And remember that your attitude determines your day. True. Zeno for the five. Recently graduated college with an astronomy and computer science degree. I'm thinking of going into a coding job or joining the Space Force, but I'm not sure. What do you think would be better uh, to fit with my degree? I have a friend that does comp sci, uh, and he does shit with, like, airplanes, and he makes good money. It's a fucking hard job, though. I mean, dude, it's whatever you want to do. If you got an astronomy and comp sci degree, oof. I don't know. You could try and go into, like, a, a coding job within a space program. I'm really into space and stuff, but landing a job with NASA is impossible. You wouldn't have to land a job with NASA. You could go to another company. Join for the sub. NASA's not the only space program there is now, right? Like, I don't, I, I'm not saying SpaceX is easy to get into, but isn't there, like, what's that other billionaire that... There's, like, 10 billionaires that have fucking space programs. And even outside of that, there's, like, flight shit. You could do stuff with planes. Crips for the three. You should do a CSGO case opening for a stream. Uh, I don't even play CSGO, but when CSGO 2 comes out, I might. Angel for the three. Who wins a silverback gorilla or 2016-year-olds with aluminum bats? 2016-year-olds with aluminum bats. I have a friend that is adamant that he could beat a two wolves. One of my friends. He's probably 6'3", 300 pounds. He thinks that he can beat two grown wolves in a fight with no weapons. That is insane. That sounds like you. I've given up. I've given up that, I that idea... That was a year ago. Yeah, a year, I've grown, okay? A year ago, yeah, I was cockier. I thought, you know, two years ago, three years ago, I was a fucking mega cocky. Three years ago, I probably thought I could kill a fucking grizzly bear. Two years ago, I thought I could kill a gorilla. A year ago, I thought I could kill a gorilla with a knife. Now, even with a knife, I'm dead, right? I know that. A gorilla rushes me. I don't care if I got a Bowie knife. It fucking immediately ground pounds me and fucking crushes my skull. 
My friend thinks he can beat two grown wolves in a fucking fight. Never. They would tear your arm off. But 16, 6, 20 16 year olds with aluminum bats? Oh, yeah, no, they murder the gorilla. Oh, dude. 20? The gorilla's not taking that. Oh, this guy that said I have vaginas for armpits. You know, I'll unban him. Why not? It was funny. It made me laugh. Joey, you're losing your humor. You're, you're losing your humor. Please fix the lag. You're losing your humor. You're losing your humor. I'm sorry. I will stop uh, knowing I have major consequences. I have a major consequence. I'm sorry for acting so poorly and spamming. I wanted to be noticed again. I'm sorry. And their profile picture is me. I'm going to ban you because you're a fucking terrible spammer. Even your team realizes you're not good. Holy shit, your ass. Maybe you're just... Maybe you are just shit in general. Holy shit, no way you just said you're above average rank and did that. I mean, it's true. Yo, okay, fair. Yeah, I remember this day. I re Wait, no, I don't remember this day. I thought this was like last time I played Valorant. This was over a year ago. He said I was ass at Val. All on ban. Welcome back. <laughs> I can't wait for him to pop in today and fucking tell me I'm shit at Valorant. Uh, Angel for the five. Uh, raid me at the end of stream. Sorry, I just realized I wanted to raid. I wanted to be cool. I won't say it again. What are the odds he's a streamer? Well, he has to be if he's... Oh, he's playing Red Dead. Maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. Ooh. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Well, yeah, you should like, uh, oh, no, I don't want to go upstairs yet, because I know I'm going to get, like, attacked. What's up? Plus, are lucky right now. You should ride in the water for a bit. You know what, you know what's really, you know what's really, like, a fucking, not a revelation, <laughs> but, like, something I noticed is a majority of streamers... I'm not talking like big streamers. I'm talking like the majority of just base Twitch streamers go live and then act like they're not live. Like, have you ever tuned into like a two viewer streamer? To be fair, to their credit, you can't really talk to chat or be entertaining when there's no one watching you because like, what the fuck are you going to say? But like, even, like, people with, like, 10, 15 viewers, 20 viewers, where they could, like, talk to their chat. Like, there's a lot of streamers with, like, 20 viewers where they could, like, actually have a conversation to try and be entertaining, where they'll just, like, play the game. And just, like, and just not even talk to chat. <laughs> they'll just dead silent the entire time. Just fucking sitting there playing a game. I Like, I've seen streams where they do it. And I think that's, like, part of the problem with the growth is, like, how are you going to grow if you're not fucking talking to people? But even conversely, how are you going to grow if there's nobody to watch you? That's why I always say, if you're going to start out on stream, if you want to be a streamer, you got to start somewhere else. Because starting from nothing on streaming is, is literally impossible. P-Band for the sub quips for the three. Uh, I already read that. Uh, no, he, he asked for a raid on the other day, so I'm just going to ban him here. Child Preds should die, Child Preds should die. And then he said that. I was banned for saying child preds are bad. Sounds pretty sussy baka to me. Kissy face. Yeah, but you also said this and then conversely said the opposite. Why is your hairline so clapped? I timed him out for a day. This guy's all over the place because earlier he said that. Yeah, that's a deny, dude. Back and forth on that one. Angel for the five. Yeah, I saw the mod comment. My bad. I didn't see it initially. Said W cancer. Where did they say? W oh, right there. The W cancer. Oh, he said it was an accident though in his chats. Eh, well, I already banned him. Whatever. Play Minecraft. Play Minecraft. Play Minecraft. Play Minecraft. Uh, could you check out Jesse? He is a good streamer. He has like seven, three to seven viewers. Not right now. Maybe if I'm done stream, remind me. Or when I'm done stream, because I raid every time I'm done stream. Get shaders on Minecraft. Oh, this was 2021. I'm back and sorry. Should I fuck? This was before I was even dating Brooke. And I've been dating Brooke for almost two fucking years. Wow. Do I unban? I got to, dude. This was so long ago. 
I've been in the hills. Is this DoorDash? Is this Mixer? Should have at least timed me out. Unnecessary ban. Uh, yeah, but when you say unnecessary ban and you complain, it makes me want to ban you. I'm gonna unban, though, because you're kind of right. I'd walk it off, uh, TBH. This guy responded to a girl that was speaking during your stream. She was talking about being molested by her father. He said that in response to that ch Bruh said L cancer to try and get me to fucking... Dude, this has nothing to do with what the fuck you got banned for. But he's saying L cancer to get unbanned. Bro, you got banned because one of my chatters said they got molested by their dad like two years ago. And you were like, oh, uh, fuck, I just walk it off. Deny. Everest is screen recording your videos. Not screen recording, they're just saving them. Uh, but I already know that. They said, I'm sorry. Eh, I'll unban. We'll see. We'll see if they become a good chatter. Follow me, please. Follow me, please. Bro, I swear to God, it was my cousin, my computer. I, I ain't even trying to have you follow me. I just want to chat. Uh, Y'all ever stare at lights when you got to sneeze? Uh, Angel. Oh, I already read that. All right. Uh, asking me for a follow. Do I unban him? Swear to God, it was my cousin, my computer. I mean, it's not even really that bad of a chat. I'll unban. Uh, I need to know if you support the LGTV. Do you mean TV? LGB, bro, TV. LGBTQ community before I can start chatting. I need to know if you support LGBTV or LGTV. Spelling that shit wrong. I guess Joe is homophobic. No, no one answered my question, so I assume this generation is truly doomed. Dog, you don't need to fucking ask me that. Oh my god. No, so you t you spam this in my chat with fucking thousands of people in my stream, and I don't read your fucking chat. And so because I don't read your chat asking me if I support the LGBTQ, you immediately assume that I'm homophobic. What fucking logic is that? And you can't even spell LGBTQ right. I support the LGBTQ. I have family members that are in that shit. And dude, even so, what the fuck are you spamming this shit for, dog? Ask one time. I guess our generation is truly doomed. True. I, bro said, I guess our generation is truly doomed because Joe Bart didn't answer their fucking question. Thiabu for the sub. Thabu for the sub. I'm saying that wrong. I know I'm saying that wrong. Thank you for the sub. Inexorable for the three. Please do the chicken dance. No. Finally, a smart mod. At, at Manifest, you banned my friend. At Joey is not cool, guys. I'm not asking you to unban him, but why? Should I look at why he got banned? Uh, they asked to be banned. They said, try me mods, fuck you, fuck these stupid ass mods, ban me mods, I dare you, Boba banned you. Like, how, if that's your friend, if that's your friend, why wouldn't you ask your friend why they got banned? It's definitely you, dumbass. Because you're a fucking ban evader and then you ask why. The you're acting like it's your friend that said that when you said it. And then you're asking for an unban. Oh my god. It's not my all. It's my friend's fuck manifest. Well, dude, even so, you're fucking telling my mods to go fuck themselves. You're just gonna get banned. I did not mean to call you uneducated. I have different opinions than you, and I should respect yours. That's not, that's not why you got banned. I probably yelled at you for that because you called me uneducated because I had a different fucking opinion than you. Dude, you got banned for this. I did not mean to call you uneducated. That's not why you got banned, dumbass.
He put cheer he put cheer a hundred thousand, but he put a space so it wouldn't go through. Sorry I said uh that Joe, whoever is reading this. Fifth and sixth message up. Oh. They said they were gonna kill themselves. For a, see, this is what I mean. This is the attention. This is attention. Right? Uh that's why I'm always hesitant because this kid's saying he's gonna kill himself, but he didn't, and he fucking shows up the next day for for fucking attention. That's an L chatter. I made a mistake, I know, and I'm sorry. Could we do a coin flip heads or tails if I get unbanned? Uh, yeah, for sure. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do a win based strategy, right? Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. And you get banned if I win, or if you lose. Oh, you're banned. If you didn't catch that there, either way, I would have gotten you banned. Uh, that's insane. L game, shit ass game, L. And then they put that. Trey the nerd. I deeply apologize for these racial comments in chat. I was trying to get a reaction out of Joe. It didn't work. Do not condone raci racist ideologies or being an L chatter. If you deny this request, I understand. I'm, yeah, I'm going to deny it, dude. Appreciate the apology, but like, bro, you don't got to apologize for me. You fucking made something racist towards another race. Follow for a follow? Oh, hell no. Who the fuck does follow for a follow anymore? Bro, really? Please unban. I didn't know you could not do that. What is this? Fucking Vine days? Buddy's asking follow for a follow. Fuck no, dude. Deny. Look at me, you monkey man. Deny. Just my second day of my breakup with my ex for eight months and I can't stop thinking about us. Do you have any advice? I've been struggling to be happy and I can't even get myself to go to the gym, which I do every day. And she wants to come drop her stuff off. Uh, she said she just wants time to herself because of my overthinking. I feel really suicidal. I can't fall asleep anymore. I mean, dude, I'm sorry you're going through that, but you, like literally what the fuck? Just spamming. And then you didn't even type a fucking apology message. Just mods, bro, please unban me. I'm going to ban you, but I'll give you advice. If you're going through a breakup and you're sad about it, that fucking sucks. I don't I, I don't think that's a reasoning to kill yourself, bro. Uh, breakups suck. I've been through breakups. Uh, there was times that I went through a breakup and I wouldn't want to eat. And you feel demotivated. And I know that, right? Because you're sad. But you don't want to kill yourself, dude. You got through a breakup. You were together for eight months. That's a decently long amount of time. I'm sorry you're going through that, dude. But, like, damn. Also, time for herself means she doesn't want to be with you. As a heads up. Uh, I've gotten hit with that when I was in high school. Uh, if somebody says, uh, I want time for myself, uh, that means they just don't want to be with you. They don't want time for themselves. They just don't want to be with you. Uh, it's just them being nice, right? Uh, so don't sit. Part of the problem that you're probably having is you're staying attached. Get unattached. They don't want to be with you anymore. You got to get over it. It's not something you're going to be able to do right away, but you got to get over it. It takes time. Or it takes time. It sucks. But I mean, like, trying to have a conversation, get back with them, talk to them. It's just not going to work, right? Uh, Morocco for the thousand biddies. I'm going to leave. Uh, have a good stream, bro. Have a good day. And thank you for the fucking thousand biddies, Morocco, and the fucking biddies beforehand. Uh, we're almost fucking done this. Then we gotta get into the gaming. Uh, all right. Next one. But I mean, that's my honest advice, dude. Like, it, I, she does. She doesn't want to be with you, bro. It's not. It's not. It's not a fucking time for myself thing. I mean, it might. But most of the time, when people say time for myself, they just don't want to be with you. And it's nothing, it's not necessarily anything against you. It's not like something you did wrong. You're just not meant for each other, bro. People click, people don't click. It's the whole part of dating. The whole reason you date is to determine whether or not you're meant for each other. You are eight months in. That's usually around the time where the fucking honeymoon scenario ends. Around six to eight months in is when you just kind of fucking, you're dating. It's, it's, you're just dating, right? Like the first six months of a relationship, you're like all lovey-dovey. You're just like so... You're so, like, into them, and then it just kind of slowly just becomes, okay, we're dating, right? It becomes more commonplace than, like, exciting. But you can still make the relationship exciting. I mean, like, me and Brooke fucking love each other, but it's just... I mean, I've been dating Brooke for almost two years. It's, it is commonplace that she's in my life. 
She's in my daily schedule. I hang out with her all the time. We're there for each other. You, After the first like six to eight months or a year of dating, you're basically, you're not married, but you're just, you're like in a long-term relationship. And when you're in a long-term relationship, you're past the honeymoon phase. You're past the, oh, this is so new and exciting. It's just there, right? But it's something that you want to be there. You become emotionally bonded more than you ever were. The first six months are more attraction. After that, it's emotion. It's good. Room for the sub. But after that six to eight months, which is what you did, some people break up because they realize the emotions aren't there. It was just attraction. It's not It's not going to work. And they realize that, right? That's when most relationships end. So don't beat yourself up about it, dude. You just got to find somebody else. Orange for the sub. Are you still promoting drugs? No, I've, I, I've never promoted drugs on this fucking stream. Would you rat? Uh, yo, I'm, yo, I fucking hate when people say this. They kicked me out the Discord, put me in your damn unbanned stream. Bobat thinks he's smart as fuck. Motherfucker, don't prove me wrong and just kicks me. Prove me wrong. What? I don't know why you got banned in my fucking Twitch chat. Uh, or not Twitch chat. Why you got banned in my fucking Discord? Bro said a racist joke in here and in Discord and tried so hard to defend it. I didn't even ban the guy from your Discord. Yeah, just be an extra, bro. This is racist. Like, it's just a racist joke, right? You're trying to get somebody to say a fucking slur. Matt's in for the three. I'm starting in high school next week. Kind of scared and nervous. Any advice? Cutie for the sub. Chat, what's some advice for high school? Don't procrastinate. Try and fucking meet new friends. Talk to people. Go to the football games. Go to the basketball games. Have fun, right? Experience high school. I, I don't really know what to say outside of that. Try and be, don't, don't, you don't need to be like super social, but just don't be antisocial, right? Like, especially if you're going to a high school where you don't know anybody and, like, no one knows each other yet. You got to try and meet new people. Also, keep in mind, your friends your freshman and sophomore year are probably not going to be your friends your junior and senior year. Maybe one or two. Say you got five friends your freshman year. Four of them won't be your friends your senior year. You might be acquaintances. You just won't be friends anymore. And out And after that... You're not really going to be friends after after that at all. Why? It's just how high school works. You're becoming an adult. Like, in high school, you're slowly transitioning to adulthood, right? I mean, you're not necessarily an adult right when you're outside of high school, but, like, you're transitioning to adulthood, right? You're becoming you, right? And your personality is effectively solidifying itself. And while it is, everybody else is around you is as well. And so some personalities might click freshman year, and your senior year, they won't, right? Because you're a different person. It's the same thing with college. Like, I'm a different person now than I was in 2020 when I when I just graduated high school. Like, when I was 18, I'm way different now. I think I'm way smarter. I'm way better person. I'm more moral. I'm fucking more uh, sympathetic, more empathetic. I understand people more. I'm more forgiving. I'm more fucking... I, you, you learn who you are. When you're when you're going through that, right? So you're not gonna click with people there. You might people you know right now and might be friends with now. You're not gonna be friends with later. It's just how it is. It's not a bad thing. Also, outside of high school, this is just way future advice. When you graduate high school, ninety percent of your friends in high school you'll never talk to again. Inexorable for the three. Are you ever gonna do the ruined DLC for FNAF Security Breach if you play it? Yeah. I would play the whole game. Well, not in one day, but I would play the whole game. I'm 56. You're a liar. I don't know why I'm banned, but I love Joe. Please unban. Why were they banned? Messages in the middle are crazy. I want to lick cream cheese off of you. I want to lick your face so bad, baby girl. What the fuck? Can I? Tried to type the N-word. Why is your mic trash? It's not. Then I. <laughs> Shut up and play the video. Nobody cares. I'm sorry. I only said what's honest and true. I'm sorry for saying shit. So please, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Deny. Are you in the hill? Bro's name is Water Malone. Deny. Joe's not dead and the joke isn't funny anymore. Now that you said that, I'll unban. 
And then Joe Bartolozzi, dick rider with zero chats. Dear Joe, I want to apologize for my inappropriate behavior during your last live stream. I realized that spamming the chat with messages like Bros Ohio and other suspicious content was disrespectful and disruptive to both you and other viewers. I regret my actions and the negative impact I had on your stream. Bro, he's a ban evader too. I'm not, un yo, good apology. I'm not unbanning you because I know you have fucking 10 accounts in my stream. Oh, this guy said, are you really in the hills freaking dudes? Can I join? Then I. My God. Cup of Joe for the fucking 300 biddies. All right, y'all want to get into fucking Fortnite now? My God. I was a fucking almost two hour on band stream. That took forever. Well, we got off topic a bunch of times. But Cup of Joe for the three. Started track this year. I'm wondering some general exercises you did to strength train. Uh, squat, bench, deadlift. Depends what you're training for. Are you distance 